Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Recently I did a video showing you how to make all your major chords using three different shapes. So I want to do that today, but let's talk about minor chords because we know those are going to come up. So I'm going to show you three different shapes that will allow you to play every minor chord. But before we jump into that, take a moment, if you like my content, to hit a like button, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. And if you want notifications, ring that bell. That'll help. Thanks. Now let's look at these shapes. So the first shape we're going to look at, we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to make an F minor chord, but let's look at how I do that. So we're going to take our little finger, first string, then I'm going to take my index finger. I'm going to cover the second and third string at the first fret. And then we're going to take our ring finger on the uh, fourth string, third fret. And our social fingers, social fingers just going to hang free there. <laughs> and that's an F minor. So that shape. We can move that. F sharp minor. Move it one more. There's a G minor. G sharp minor. Move it one more. minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp or D flat minor, D minor, E flat minor, E minor, and one more takes us back to F minor. So that's shape number one. Shape number two. You may have used this A minor shape, this triangle shape in, in Beverly Hillbillies or up the neck maybe in Cumberland Gap. And that's a minor shape, but let me show you the whole shape so you, you won't be super confused about it. The way, the way I like to do it, but I got big fingers, so I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. I like to, uh, I like to uh, ring finger, first string, second fret, index finger, second string, first fret, social finger is going to cover both the third and the fourth string at the second fret. And it's going to sound like, but I know you're saying, Jim, I can't hold both of those strings yet. How could I do that? Well, so you can use your pinky, index, middle, and a ring and then middle. So you're going to use you're going to use all four fingers for that shape. And that's an A minor chord. What happens when we slide that up? It's a B flat minor chord. B minor, one more. C minor. C sharp minor. D minor, E flat minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, it's getting on up there, G sharp minor, or A flat minor, and then back to A minor. And those get really tight, and so you'll have to work on them, and, which is part of the reason why I use my, my fingers the way I use them. All right, now let's do our third shape. We're going to take our pinky, first string, third fret, ring finger, second string, third fret, index finger, third string, second fret, middle finger, fourth string, third fret. That builds a D minor chord. If we slide it up one, it's an E flat minor. One more is E minor. One more. What is it? F minor. F sharp minor. Comes after F sharp. G. Minor. A 
flat minor, A minor. What is that? What comes after A, B flat, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor. D minor. So that lets us play all our minor chords. So if you're reading chords for a song and it says, play an F sharp minor. Now you, you know, you know an F minor. So we know F sharp. Now we know how to do those chords. Hope that's helpful. We'll see you next time. Bye.